Ohayou gozaimasu. I'm Frank Symes, the man in the hat. I want to talk about something that's a little bit on the heady side today that's related to being creative and in particular about songwriting for me. One day I was probably making my morning cappuccino and I got a call out of the blue from a well-known commercial producer and she said we need a song for Honda that has to be so good that it becomes the theme of the campaign. So the pressure was on for me to write something that's that has uh, enduring power, that has impact and eventually I came up with a song called People Like to Rock, People Like to Roll, but I like a little bit of both. And that was the, the catchphrase that I used that Honda really loved. And it was used for five years. What I want to share with you is I was under pressure to write something and I went down to my studio and I started scribbling lines, line after line, and I didn't like any of it. I kept throwing out pieces of paper, crumpling them up and throwing them on the floor. Eventually I came up with this line uh, people like to rock, people like to roll, and um, I like a little bit of both. And um, it contained a little bit of humor, which I like, and it did become central to their campaign. So how did I win out that position over all the other writers that were submitting material? How, my question is, how does such a song originate? It seems to come out of the blue. Where did it come from? I'm going to relate this all to what I've learned in physics, which is that reality is... Uh, a mass, a giant mass of interacting fields of energy. And where these creative things occur, these creative events occur, are where the fields of energy are the most complex. How are planets born? How are stars born? And that's occurring at the scale of the brain as well. The point I'm trying to make is the more you learn, the more you interact, every time you put your hand down on a piece of paper to draw a picture um, it gets better and better you're gonna improve your ability to express yourself as I said in another video improve our habits all the things we do in life that increases our creativity watching films drawing pictures reading books learning new things learning new language all these things help complexify the creative process and all the fields of energy that you are capable of dealing with I think the key here is that to learn unfamiliar things unfamiliar subjects it's to exercise your mind in new ways if you're uh, a doctor try playing the violin if you're a physicist um, pick up the guitar try to write a song all these things make the brain more complex and it gives rise to the possibilities of greater fluctuations so there you go thanks for watching my video don't forget to subscribe to my channel leave a thumbs up if you like my video please send me comments about what you would like to see on my channel and the links to my other social media is listed below. Jamata.